Welcome to Parsec. So, you've decided to get a shiny new Parsec for Teams license. You're all set to work and collaborate from anywhere on your own terms. But you've opened the Parsec app and you have no idea what you're looking at. What's that little button doing up there? Well, look no further. In this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know about using the Parsec app and some of Parsec's coolest features. We cover the admin panel in a separate video, so if you need to learn about managing your Parsec for Teams account, check out the link in the description. First things first, open the Parsec app and log into your account. Once logged in, you'll find yourself presented with the Computers screen. This screen is the main hub for connecting to all of your available computers, including those you've logged into or that your Teams made available. If you're logged into your computer at the office and opening Parsec at home, you'll see your office computer listed here along with any others also signed in or assigned to you. Let's log in to our PC in the office by clicking Connect. Notice how we've landed on the login screen. This is because Parsec includes a feature to allow it to run pre-login. This means that if your machine contains sensitive info and you want to authenticate, or it's a machine with multiple users, you can enable Parsec to boot to the screen and require a login first. That keeps everything safe and secure. If you don't have Parsec installed that way, you'll just connect to whatever screen is active. Now you're logged in. The first thing you'll probably notice is the Parsec overlay button. This little guy gives you power over the majority of Parsec's settings and features. Let's take a look at some of the controls we have. Perhaps this amount of control is too much power for you, and you'd rather just focus on your work. As you may have guessed, the Hide button option removes this Parsec overlay button and any temptation it may bring so that you can focus on the task at hand. If you're in a shared session, you may want to chat and give feedback with other users who are also connected to the computer. You can bring up the chat window using the chat option here, or at any time pressing Control shift c on your keyboard, Command-Shift-C on Mac. With the chat window open, you can see and send messages to everyone else watching. The windowed and full screen option gives you the ability to toggle Parsec between a windowed or full screen view. Full screen's a more immersive experience that really makes it feel like you're sitting in front of the host computer, while windowed will simply put the stream aside other active windows on your computer. Additionally, the sound setting allows you to toggle sound from the stream on or off, allowing you to easily switch between your current project's audio or those sweet lo-fi tunes you're currently listening to at home. And that's pretty much the basics of getting started with Parsec. To get back to your own machine, simply click the Disconnect button in the overlay to log out and disconnect from the stream, and you'll be returned to the computer's screen in the Parsec app. As you can see, it's easy to get started and optimize your experience with Parsec. We've designed many features to help you and your team get the most out of working wherever you are. For more information on Parsec and using the Parsec app, follow the link below. Thanks for watching.